The story of the crypt begins in 1930, when a vicar by the name of Don Robbins arrived at St George's Church in Leeds. He quickly became aware of the large number of homeless and vulnerable people in the area, and so cleared the crypt beneath the church in order to set up a soup kitchen, offering food and shelter to all those in need. Eighty-five years later, the crypt continues to support the homeless in Leeds. But what became of Don's soup kitchen? In 2010, the Crip celebrated its 80th anniversary by founding Nurture, a social enterprise that aims to train its customers in outside catering. Head chef David Pilling explains what Nurture is and what its role is within the Crypt. I was employed by the Crypt to run a small social enterprise. Uh, the idea being that we could train and engage with um, homeless, uh, vulnerable people of Leeds. Um, since then, it's, it's grown into a catering company. We'll do uh, weddings, funerals, christenings, any of the events that anybody wants, really. We also do uh, food for the vulnerable of Leeds, and that is our primary objective, really. Last year, we did about 46,000 meals in the crypt itself, in the CC Cafe. Um, and that's just a way of feeding the guys, but also we use it as a sort of recruitment tool as well. We get. We recruit quite a lot of guys out and, and ladies out of the out of the um, ACC cafe and, uh, and take them forward. And it's a, it's very much a process of um, of moving people out of the current situation, whether that's an addiction issue, uh, uh, offender issue, or just basically you know the homeless and out of work, long term out of work, or they might have mental health issues. And it's just a way of bringing them into into the fold and showing them they they can move on in their lives really. We take them out of the cafe, we bring them into the kitchen, we give them some basic food hygiene training, um, and then we put them through what's called the, the Nurture Diploma, which is a, a, a set workbook. But because we're called, the reason we're called Nurture is it's a process of nurturing people. It's not necessarily training, but nurturing in, in, in a way that everybody's different. So we have some people with some severe learning difficulties that learn in different ways to other people, and it's just managing and judging that and deciding that's how that's how it is. We tend to employ people who. Will, possibly otherwise unemployable by certain other organisations. Twelve months after we started Nurture, we then also went into, um, into the prisons, particularly Ascombe Grange Ladies Prison in York. And we recruit there ladies that want to move forward in lives, want to get on with, with what they want to do really. Um, we've got a lady at the moment who's working in Anglesey, in a hotel in Anglesey. I've got a lady that's gone to work in Manchester. Um, and I've got three or four ladies that work here in the cafes already as well. And others that have just gone back all around the country and uh, get back in with the family. The reward of getting somebody and seeing them in, in probably one of the lowest states in their lives and seeing them blossom and grow to being a, a really useful member of society is, is just it's just an amazing reward. It's an amazing, you know, thing to see and grow. And and when you see that happening and they come and thank you and you think, you know, that's that's it, that's what it's all about. We asked Chris Field, CEO of the Crypt, why Nurture was set up. What services does it offer and why is it important that it survives? Nurture was an idea that came from a question regarding how do we fill time when men are coming out of addiction and the one thing we do down at the crypt better than anybody else in Leeds is feed people. We feed many many people through our uh, restaurant at lunchtime and also in the centre at St George's Church. 
So we decided to set up a, a catering company in order to manage people through their training, through their employability skills, and basically just to get back into society and break those chains of unemployment. Nurture as an entity was, was a, a community interest company, and the idea was to provide time filling and training. The thing about the training is it became bigger than we ever expected and it became more successful than we ever expected. And within that we devised our own diploma, uh, which is now recognised by Job Centre Plus. Guys can actually work their way through that. And coming from a catering background myself, I looked at the diploma and said, would I employ someone who had passed all these things in the diploma? And yes, I would. So the, the place it fills is helping us provide food for the homeless. It fills important time, which could be filled with other things. And it also creates a, a, a belief in someone's own possibility and employability. We've not necessarily uh, invested loads and loads of money in it. What we have done is reinvested the, the profits back into it as a true CIC should. So it's never really cost the charity an awful lot of money. The guys themselves have funded their own creativity and their own ability to work. This year, the Crypt is celebrating its 85th anniversary. It is clear that the Crypt and Nurture are a very successful social enterprise, but this is not the whole story. The best people to tell us about the importance of the Crypt and Nurture are its customers, whose lives have been changed for the better. We asked a few of them how they came to be at the Crypt, what they did before the Crypt, what they're doing now, and what helped them most to get back on track. Been unemployed for a while, um, just completely bored at home um, on disability benefits, so just going slightly crazy. So, contacted a place called Remploy, they put me in touch with their advisor um, and went for the option I've got to get back into work. And they mentioned St George's Crypt. I said, Well, oh, perfect, work in the kitchen, be busy. And it's uh, something I've um, been doing for a few months now. I was with Nurture when I was in prison. So once I was released from prison, um, I came back home to Anglesey. I started selling drugs when I was younger. And then my mum found out and she kicked me out. So I was homeless for a while. And then I found out about Crypt and I heard about it. So I ended up getting in there. I was living there for a fortnight. They got me a flat. They, they helped me with everything for my flat. They, they really looked after me. And that's, that's when I decided to give back and start volunteering at Crypt. Split up with my partner for quite a long time and uh, literally had nowhere else to go. Um, I knew about the crypt from previous, from being a teenager. Um, so I knew the, the help and the support and the services I needed, the crypt would help me with. I started the crypt um, from a programme called iGen, which is um, a ready for work programme that's based in town and what it is is it's to help young people find work. Run the kitchen and the bar manager. I worked in the army 2008 to 2012. Done window cleaning around, I had my own window cleaning. Um, I've done warehouse work. Uh, I used to be a labourer for a plasterer. Done property maintenance. I worked in a few places, at hotels, restaurants, um, of course in the kitchen. Uh, that's my trade and uh, passion. Started off in hotels as a youngster. That's where I learnt my trade. And then uh, fell into pubs through carveries, really. Now I'm, I'm a sort of sous chef here at the hotel. Now I'm doing events with them, um, doing a diploma. Running the kitchen in the crypt. And I'm currently a head chef. And I was at a place in Pudsey and my owners have just moved me to a new investment in Hull. I'm part-time employed at Sainsbury's in the Baker Counter. Because I'm only doing part-time there, I uh, thought I'd continue volunteering here for the, to keep myself busy. Um, working in the kitchen, being here, getting um, a food catering diploma and just working towards having a better future for myself. Being here in a supportive atmosphere, you're, you feel better, you feel well to then move on to a work. The support particularly from David because he's my manager and he sort of like nurtured me along the way. Do you know, he knows, do you know, stuff that I struggled with my self-confidence. 
and he always seems to have this plan, you know, you can see where people can go and it pushes you to get there. Having something to do on a day, uh, I know you're not contracted or anything, but uh, when you volunteer for Dave, you know, you've still got to get up, you still have a responsibility to cook food or even clean dishes, whatever your role is in the kitchen. The grips, the grips helped me get back on track. It was, it was them that made me, me see that I didn't have to, I didn't have to be somebody that people walked all over and they gave me the chance to be me and, and let me be myself again and find myself again. The Crypt, it's, it's just a great place. It, no matter what background, anything, it's just, it's there to help everyone. It's just supportive and it's just, there's people that's always there for you. Even if you don't want to talk, even if you just want to have company, it's just, it's a, it really is a good place, it helped me out a lot. Understanding and non-judgmental, I think, that's the biggest thing, that non-judgmental thing. And it's about second chances and third chances. An absolutely amazing place with amazing people that just give constantly, just help people and give and, and never ask for anything in return and just, just nurture, nurture people. They're absolutely fantastic. The soup kitchen became Nurture, a social enterprise with 12 employees and over 25 volunteers working in its three cafes and catering services. The Bishop of Leeds, Nick Baines, has used the outside catering service of Nurture ever since it started. We asked him why he chose to use this service, what does he think of the quality of food he's getting, and why, in his opinion, Nurture should be supported by the people of Leeds. Well, it's very easy, isn't it, to complain about people who have offended, um, who have broken the rules in society. But how do you offer a positive way, a positive way back? Um, and it seems to me that Nurture offers um, some younger people, really, a very effective way of um, getting back and making a contribution. And we've been really, really pleased with the service we get. We like having these guys around. I, I think Nurture is probably unique in the service it offers, with the clientele that it works with, and in the way they engage uh, with people like us. So, you know, I think it's something that deserves to grow. I think, um, I hope that there'll be a wider clientele in Leeds that would provide the opportunity for this sort of employment and service. Um, I hope it will grow and um, I hope other people will come to use uh, Nurture as we have done as well. Nurture is like a family in the kitchen where the more experienced nurture and help the new volunteers. The money that comes from catering goes back to Nurture to train more volunteers and employ more people. But perhaps even more important than its economic success, Nurture's most important achievement remains in the way it supports, guides and cares for those who need it the most.